Okay, guys, so this is an exclusive. This morning, I woke up to my kids messaging me saying, there's new animatronics at Spirit Halloween. So I followed their link. I got on the Spirit website, and we're going to check some of these out. They're pretty amazing. Okay, so as we scroll down through the animatronics on here, the first thing I see here that I, I mean, I honestly, I don't think I'd seen before is the seven and a half foot Demogorgon static prop. We got to check this thing out. Look at this. $1,300. <laughs> this thing is enormous and it is awesome. I mean, okay, truly, I wish it were an animatronic instead of just a static prop, but it is pretty sweet looking. Look at this thing. Let's just look at the uh, the angles as we go around this thing. What the heck? <laughs> wow. That is pretty sweet. And if you don't know, the Demogorgon is from the Stranger Things series on Netflix. There's uh, three seasons of it out right now, and there's more coming. You guys got to check that out. Okay, so let's roll down um, and just go to these new ones that popped up today. The first one is the seven foot towering boogeyman with Kid. Now, you guys know that I absolutely love the animatronics that have a screaming kid in it. <laughs> I don't know why I just do, but look at this thing. Seven feet tall, um, and it's got this little girl that he's holding. We're going to watch the video here. In fact, what we're going to do is we're going to skip through some of this video because they've done this one and one of the other ones a little bit different uh they have some girl like explaining all about it before they actually get to the animatronic movements itself so let's see if we can find that i love this thing now here's the thing it sounds like crouchy's laugh That's all he does is laugh, and it sounds just like Crouchy. Child has volume control and easy to assemble quick connect pulls included. He weighs roughly 25 pounds. Assembly is required and takes about 45 minutes to assemble. At the end of the season, this prop is easily disassembled and packed away for the next year in a small box. <laughs> Look at that flailing girl. That is hilarious. Um, okay, if you want to see the full video, you guys can go to the Spirit Halloween website. But that is the seven foot towering boogeyman with the kid. Now let's uh, hop back here to the list of them. We also have the seven foot catastrophe, which is a witch holding a cat that is flailing around just like the kid. And the cat is, you know, whining and screaming and hissing. Let's go to the video on this one. Listen to the cat whining. Okay, so the cat could be flailing around a little bit more for my tastes. I mean, that thing should have just been going absolutely crazy like the little girl. But that is a totally awesome prop, too. You gotta love the witch and the skeleton and the pumpkins, which actually brings me to the next one, which is called... Where is it? Seven Foot Root of Evil animatronic. And this is a evil jack-o'-lantern with more evil jack-o'-lanterns trying to bust out his stomach. Okay, so here we go with the video. Lay. 
lagging a little bit here. Hold on. Look at that thing. Look at its feet. It doesn't have a whole lot of movement, but it's still cool. It's creepy. It towers over you. Look at the pumpkins growing out of the chest, trying to burst out. your body buried deep in the soil. Look at that thing. That looks so cool, guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this video just keeps going and going. I love it. I love this so much. That looks so cool. I love it Halloween when you have like the typical classic Halloween stuff. The skeletons, the witches, the pumpkins. Those are perfect. My only question is, why are these not in the store? Why are these not part of the general display in the store? I mean, you put things in there like, uh, like Johnny Punk. I mean, come on, when you got this kind of stuff, how cool would it be to walk in the store and see these things set up greeting you right at the door. I mean, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Now, there's a couple more on here that I hadn't seen before. Um, let, let's just look at these while we're at it. One of them is this 3.4 foot rocking elephant clown. I had not seen this one before. This like kind of came out of nowhere. I don't know if this is from... Uh, a year past, or if this is a brand new one, or what, but I mean, I completely missed this thing, so let's check this out. Here we go. Okay, so it's just a clown that's going back and forth on an elephant ride like you'd find at one of the old uh, playgrounds. It's definitely creepy though. I mean, if you had a clown set up, that would definitely be a really good addition to it. <laughs> I mean, okay, yeah, I mean... There's no, uh, there's no talking. There's no other movements besides just the back and forth of him riding on the elephant. But honestly, that is even better than Johnny Punk. I mean, that is... I just... I don't know. I don't get who's making the decisions of what goes in the stores and what doesn't. Um, all right, let's keep looking here because there's a couple more. This one I don't remember if I saw before. The three-foot seesaw clowns. Let's just look at it for the heck of it. It's 180 bucks. Two little clown boys on a <laughs> on a seesaw. Let's watch the video. Okay, it's the same sound. Okay, yeah, so again, kind of along the lines of that other one with the elephant. Would definitely make a cool addition if you had a clown set up, but they don't do a whole lot. Anyways, guys, there 
is a little uh, look at some new spirit props that, um, you know, apparently just came out as well as a few other ones. But yeah, it just, it begs the question, why are they not using these better? Why do they not have these ones that are more like Halloween in the stores? And, and I think it's because they try to put stuff in there that they know people are going to buy. Like clowns are just a huge thing. People love clowns. I'm kind of over the clowns. I think they're cool, but they're not Halloween. You know, they don't just say Halloween. Stuff like that witch and the pumpkin and the skeleton, that is Halloween. So, I mean, you could have had like a spooky forest, a haunted forest theme, and had those guys spread throughout. And how dope would that be? <laughs> Maybe next year. All right, guys. I'm out. Stay tuned. Subscribe. Check out the merch below. And I will see you guys in the next video.